Hey YouTube, my name is Jam, I'm an Andalite, and today I'm going to be telling you exactly what an Andalite is. So, on this little show, I just kind of talk to the camera. This is mostly made so I can practice my fursuit gestures and I can practice my video editing. However, I do want to try and educate people on a series that not many people actually know about, surprisingly. That being said, what is an Andalite? Have you ever read those Animorphs books? I didn't until about last year when my friend Candy Crave go check out their channel. They make fantastic stuff. Showed me. Uh, and I actually got into the series. Now, the series isn't for everyone because, much like Steven Universe, it goes into the gray morality of war. And although, for my money, Animorphs does it much, much better than Steven Universe, I couldn't finish the series personally because of a few characters that didn't mesh well with my personality, and I didn't exactly think that it would be beneficial to me to finish reading the series. That being said, I do really, really love the aliens from Animorphs. Like, from all of Animorphs, I love the aliens. There are these little brain slug type things that crawl into your ear. That's not my ear. That's my ear. Wow, I'm learning. There's these little brain slug things that crawl into your ear called Yurks. They are the main big bads of the Animorph series. There are the Horkbajir, who are like walking razor blade lizards. And there are Lyrans, which are frog people. And last but not least, we do have the Andalites. Andalites are a centaur-shaped alien that have no mouth, which is why I'm dying of heat stroke right now. They have four eyes, two right here, two right here. These don't move, unfortunately. And they have a tail that has a blade on the end. I'm not wearing my tail right now because the chair is not that big. One of the things that Andalites have that makes them unique, besides the design, which I find really, really cool, is that they have morphing technology. AKA the thing that makes the Animorphs series about Animorphs. It follows six, mm, yeah, six kids. No, seven. <laughs> See? <sighs> I need to brush up. Anyway, it follows these kids and they can morph into animals because one Andalite, his name was Elfangor, gave them a morphing cube which allowed them to acquire the DNA of animals and turn into them. There are limits to this technology, but overall, that's pretty metal, isn't it? So, all that on the table, there are just some species that click with you. For some people, it's Sergals. For other people, it's Duchies. And for me, it was Andalites and Tricos. <laughs> As you can see, my wall is kind of covered in Andalites and Tricos. Hi, Canis Candom Eat It poster. As I was saying, uh, Jam is an Andalite who was born after the events that happened in Animorphs, and she is Earthborn. She's, mm, how do I put this? She's shiny, dumb, and easy to trick. <laughs> but what she lacks in intelligence, she more than makes up for in a gentle disposition and extreme loyalty. And Jam is a character that is very close to my own heart because I feel like she is a part of me, like a major part of me, which is what my persona should be. She's become my main persona, uh, aside from my persona, Jinx. And, I don't know, her backstory is similar to my own story. She's just kind of a ditz. And she has a girlfriend named Valhalla, which is incidentally owned by my own girlfriend, Belle. <laughs> that was a total coincidence, we started dating after the characters did. Sam is a character that's very close to my heart that I definitely look forward to using more in the future. I hopefully want to go to a con in her one day just because, you know, that's what you do with her suits. But until then, I guess I'll just make videos and I hope you don't mind. That being said, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe if you want to. So, have a good day guys!